Shannon here. Um, a couple people asked me about the fold of this stroller. Um, it does have a quick, it's a two-step fold, but the first step I kind of don't really count because it's just like an extra safety thing. Um, I like to fold this stroller with the muffs in place. Um, and there's just one little modification that you have to do to get it to fold. All you have to do is just take the muffs so they're normally on the bottom like this. You just have to take it off the bottom and I just shove them up in there. Um, and that way the muffs don't get caught when it folds. Um, but that makes it really nice because then you can keep the rain canopies and the bug nets in the basket all the time. There's little pockets in there and they fit perfectly. So very intuitive. Um, uh, I like to just make sure that the wheels are facing uh, forward, like the larger part of the front wheels are facing forward so that they don't get caught. Um, that did happen to me one time when I was folding it, they um, got caught on the basket. Um, that's something that happens with a lot of these strollers that have the wheels that are slightly offset. It's no big deal. Um, and then I find it has a slightly more compact fold if you move the handlebar up like this. So that's what I do. Again, you don't have to do that, but that's something I do. So the two steps are, um, this in this center bar, there's a little sticker that tells you exactly what to do. It says pull up before folding, press the red button after unfolding. So this is that little extra safety lock that stroller has in place, and I appreciate that. So you literally just pull that up until you hear a click. And then on the sides, you're gonna just pull up on these two levers, and the stroller will just fold completely in half until you hear the click. The click is the automatic lock on the side. So as you can see, you know, I mean, it's still pretty big, but it folds down more compact than this. Then the tops, or the foot wells of the seats, you just press the button and these fold all the way down. There's Velcro underneath here, so they actually stick in place, which I thought was really kind of a nice feature. Um, again, this folds all the way down. And this is how I put this in my car. Um, you can pop the wheels off to make it smaller. Um, you can actually fold the handlebar all the way forward, which makes it slightly more compact. And you can take off the belly bars to make it more compact as well. I don't do any of that because it fits fine in my minivan just like this and um, easy in, easy out. I don't like strollers you have to take apart to fold because um, I have five kids and we don't have time for that. So anyway, this is a standing fold. It, it fits really well um, in my vehicle, just like this. It's still going to be the 28 and a half inches wide. There's no way around that, um, but it is pretty narrow. Um, I put it right in my car like this. And then, um, for example, we, my kids had baseball practice. We put their full-size baseball bags right in front of this in my trunk. They fit perfectly fine, and there was still room for groceries in front of it as well. So it's nice that it has kind of um, more of a... Like the, it's not super wide. I didn't actually measure, um, but it's definitely less than 18 inches, a little bit more than a foot, I would say, when it's folded like that. Um, to unfold it, it's basically the same thing. I'm going to turn it this way, just so you can see the lock. So this is the automatic lock. I just take my foot and I just press it in slightly, and it, um, it just brings that, that lock easier to unlock. You literally just pull that off and you lift it up. And then last but not least, you press the red button. And that's that extra safety thing. Um, you place the handlebar wherever you would like it. Oh, wait. I like it a little bit further down like this for me. Um, you can adjust the footwells again in here. There it goes. Um, and then if you have the stroller mouse on, you can just throw those back on for your kiddos. Um, so yeah, pretty easy peasy. Um, I also wanted to show you the car seat attachments. They're pretty awesome. Um, just pop the seats off like this. So there is a low attachment and a high attachment. And um, because the tr stroller is narrow, it allows for um, the car seats to overlap slightly um, so that you still fit through all the doors and everything. So we have Kiko Key Fit 30 car seats. Um, awesome, super great safety car seat. They go down to like four pounds or four and a half pounds or something like that. 
with um, having twins, we, that was something that was really important to us because twins tend to come early and ours did. So we wanted to make sure we could go home from the hospital even if they were itty bitty. You can hear my guys in the background. Um, so anyway, let me just show you. If you just need one car seat, you can get either, the low or the high. Um, this is the low adapter. And it, um, it doesn't matter which side they go on. You can put low on left, low on right. Um, it doesn't matter. Hi. Um, and they, just like the seats, they just click right into place. Um, I like that you could, like the high one, how it has this, but it actually like folds down pretty small. So I just keep these in the trunk of my car. Um, sometimes we use the car seats. Sometimes we use the regular seats. Um, if the babies fall asleep in the car, it's super nice just to have the option of picking up the bucket seats and putting them right in here. I mean, speaking of their bucket seats, So I did find you have to put the low one on first. I don't know if this is for all car seats. Um, this uh, Kiko one is pretty big, like it's a big car seat. Literally just drop it in there. It clicks into place. There is the extra um, safety belt um, that you can put around there. Um, then with the low one, again, this might just be the car seat that I have. Um, I do put that forward so that it doesn't hit the other car seat. And we can find the other car seat. seat. I did find when I got this one with the high adapter, it was a little tight, um, but it does fit in there. Might have just been like from shipping. Again, yeah, it just clicks into place. Did I click it? Oh, it clicked on this side. Did it click on that side? Oh yeah, it went through already. I just didn't hear the click. Um, so yeah, uh, the car seats are pretty high up, but they are side by side. I love, love, love that I can see both babies at the same time. Um, still fitting through all the doors. Um, super easy, click in, click out. Um, I was worried about it feeling kind of top heavy. Um, it doesn't because the wheels are pretty heavy on the bottom. I feel like it's a good equal distribution. It's definitely not tippy. Um, and the babies really like it. So it works out super nice for us. Um, it's just like a really nice option, like I said, when the kids fall asleep in the car or it's like a super cold, windy day and I don't want to take them out of the car seats. Um, it can be all bundled up in there and we just click them in real quick. Um, I also have little ring covers like for the car seats too. So that's a nice option. I just got them off of Amazon. Um, again, if it's cold and windy out, that's a nice option. But anyway, yeah, that is how everything works. Um, Schroeder does, I believe, make bassinets as well. Um, I did not get those because my kiddos are already five months old. Um, you can see they just pop right out. Um, but that is an option if you wanted to go that out. Thanks for watching.